Hello and welcome English learners. I am Ramchandra Donukshe. You are watching a video series on basic English grammar and its applications. If you are a beginner, watch the videos carefully. If you have already studied basic grammar, this would be a good revision for you. If you are an expert, I would appreciate if you provide me your valuable suggestions. Visit my blogger's website, get the notes and PowerPoint presentations, read my articles on different topics to learn English from and leave your comments over there. The link for my blogger's website is in the description. If you like the video, press the like button and share the video with others. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe it now and press the bell icon to get the updates on new videos. In the previous video, we started with parts of speech. We studied the first three parts of speech that is noun, pronoun and adjective. In this video, I am going to talk about verb and adverb. So let's start with verb. Verb can be either main verb or auxiliary verb. Main verb denotes physical or mental action. For example, we work together. She sings well. They are talking loudly. I am thinking about getting a job in a multinational organization. In these sentences, the words work, sing, talking, thinking denote either physical or mental action. They are action verbs or they are main verbs. Then we have auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs are also called as helping verbs. For example, she has won the match. In this sentence, one is the main verb whereas has is auxiliary verb. These auxiliary verbs add functional or grammatical meaning to the sentence. Let's take another example. Do you work for that organization? Here, work is main verb and the auxiliary verb do helps us to frame a question. It adds functional and grammatical meaning. Here is the list of auxiliary verbs. The verb to be denotes a state of being. For example, I am a teacher. Doctors are our friends. Here, M and R are the verbs that show a state of being. Different forms of to be are M, is, are, was, were, be, being and being. Forms of to have, that is has, have and had, are used to form sentences in perfect tense. For example, the government had imposed curfew for one week. Here, had is used to form past perfect tense. I have finished my work. In this sentence, have is used to form present perfect tense. Has she completed the task? Again, present perfect tense. Do, does, did are mainly used to frame questions. For example, did you book tickets on time? Do you want me to help you? Do, does, did are sometimes used with main verb to emphasize meaning. For example, I believe the organization is taking care of everyone. I do believe the organization is taking care of everyone. Here we have used do to show emphasis. Model auxiliary verbs are used to indicate possibility, capability, obligation, request or to form a future tense. For example, it might rain, I think, possibility. I can play this game, capability. You must report on time, obligation. Can you please pass that paper, request? Could you tell me where I should submit this form, request? I will call you tomorrow, future tense. Sometimes the auxiliary verbs to be, to have and to do can also be used as main verbs. For example, I am a student. She has a phone with her. I do exercise regularly. In these sentences, the verbs am, has and do are used as main verbs. Model auxiliary verbs can never be used as main verbs. Sometimes we use two or more than two auxiliary verbs in one sentence. For example, I have been working on this for last one month. In this sentence, working is the main verb and have and be are auxiliary verbs that are used together in one sentence. Verbs change their form according to the tense that we are using. 
or according to the subject. For example, I go to the gym, I went to the gym. In these sentences, we can observe the verb go changes its form according to the tense that we are using. The first sentence is in present tense and the second sentence is in past tense. We will discuss about this in detail in a separate video on tenses. Another example, I study regularly. He studies regularly. Here, the verb study changes its form according to the subject. This is also called as subject verb agreement. There are mainly three forms of verbs V1, V2, and V3. V1 is base form or present form. It is used in simple present tense. For example, I write a letter. V2 is past form. It is used in simple past tense. For example, you wrote a letter. And V3 is past participle. It is used in perfect tenses and in passive voice. She has written a letter. A letter has been written by her. Other two forms are third person singular form. For example, she writes a letter. V I N G or present participle form is used in continuous tenses. For example, she is writing a letter. Now let's move on to adverbs. Adverbs perform either of these three functions. One, it modifies verb. For example, he walks slowly. Second, it modifies another adverb. For example, he walks very slowly. In this sentence, slowly is adverb, but the word very tells us how slowly he walks. Hence, very is also an adverb. Third, it modifies an adjective. For example, the dress is really beautiful. In this sentence, the word beautiful is adjective, the word really modifies it, hence really is an adverb. Adverbs are used to talk about time, place, manner, degree or frequency. Let's look at it one by one. The first is adverb of time. It is used to talk about when something happens. For example, she arrived yesterday. When did she arrive? Yesterday. So, yesterday is called adverb of time. These adverbs answer the question when. Other examples of this type are before, after, now, later, yesterday, tomorrow, last week, next week, last year, next year, etc. Sometimes adverbs tell us the place where something happens. For example, I am waiting for you outside. Where am I waiting? Outside. Hence, outside is an adverb of place. These adverbs are called adverbs of place. They answer the question where. Here, there, inside, outside, upstairs, downstairs, everywhere, nowhere, nearby, etc. Some adverbs give information about manner. For example, I left the place happily. How did I leave? Happily. Hence, happily is an adverb. It is an adverb of manner. These adverbs answer the question, how? Some other examples are slowly, fast, happily, sadly, angrily, joyfully, sorrowfully, etc. Some adverbs tell us the degree or the extent. For example, I am extremely happy. I am happy is okay. But how much or to what extent? The answer is extremely. Hence, extremely is adverb of degree. It answers the question how much or to what extent. Other examples are very, extremely, to, almost, completely, partly. Sometimes we talk about frequency. These adverbs answer the questions how often or how long. For example, I attend the lectures regularly. How often do I attend the lectures? The answer is regularly. I waited for you the whole day. How long did I wait? The whole day. Other examples of adverb of frequency are rarely, regularly, 
often, frequently, daily, weekly, twice a day, all the time, since morning, etc. Most of the adverbs end in ly. For example, joyfully, sadly, sorrowfully, angrily, etc. But be careful about it. Not all the adverbs end in ly. For example, she plays well. He has studied abroad. He works hard. In these sentences, the words well, abroad and hard are adverbs, but they do not end in ly. On the other hand, there are some words that end in ly, but they are not adverbs. For example, costly. Smartphones are costly. In this sentence, the word costly is not an adverb. It gives more information about noun, that is, smartphones. And that is why costly is adjective, not adverb. Do not get confused. Look at what function a particular word performs in a sentence. Study well, study carefully, practice more and you will understand it. Now let's solve some exercise. Can you identify adverbs in the following sentences? The man quickly got in the car. He peacefully drove it to the old house, walked up to the door and swiftly knocked on it. The door opened immediately. Can you guess the adverbs? Yes, quickly, peacefully, swiftly, immediately, these are the adverbs. Another example, the sun was shining brightly. I hastily phoned my friends and asked them to come over quickly for a party. If you have guessed right, the adverbs are brightly, hastily and quickly. Now it's time to take a recap of what we have learned today. But before that, let me tell you this. If you have liked the video, please press the like button and share the video with others. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe it now and press the bell icon to get the updates on future videos. You can also leave a comment below or email your suggestions to the email ID provided in the description. Now let's take a quick recap of what we have learned today. We studied that verb is either a main verb or auxiliary verb. Main verb shows physical or mental action. Auxiliary verb adds functional or grammatical meaning to the sentence. To be, to do, to have are some auxiliary verbs. These sometimes function as main verbs as well. Will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might, must are model auxiliary verbs. The model auxiliary verbs can never be used as main verbs. Verbs change their form according to the subject or tense. Different forms of verbs are V1 or base form, V2 or past form, V3 or past participle, third person singular form and VING or present participle form. Then we studied adverbs. Adverbs modify verb, another adverb or adjective. Adverb of time tell us when something happens. Adverb of place tell us where something happens. Adverb of manner tell us how something happens. Adverb of degree tell us degree of another adverb. And adverb of frequency tell us how often or how long something happens. We also studied that all the adverbs do not end in ly. Not all the words that end in ly are adverbs. We need to look at the function that a particular word performs in a sentence in order to identify correct part of speech. In the next video, we'll talk about preposition, conjunction and interjection. Do not forget to visit my blogger's website to learn English. There you will get an access to notes, PowerPoint presentations, articles and more exercise. The link is provided in the description. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Keep watching. Keep learning.